Lazy Man Prepper, and today I'm going to talk about survival whistles. I think having a whistle on your survival bag, your bob bag, your EDC bag, or whatever you're carrying with you is very important. If you get injured and can't yell, or you've been yelling for a long time, or you're, you know, just out of breath, you're hurt, whatever, having a whistle is so easy to blow on in order to contact help. I have four of them here today that I'm going to show you that I've purchased over time and some are better than others and I want to show you some of the different features and benefits of each one. I'm not going to blow on any of these because there's no use, you know, you've all heard whistles. I want to, it's tempting, but uh, trust me, they're all loud enough for somebody to hear that's uh, looking for you or you're, or you're trying to contact. So let me start with this one. I got this at the dollar store. The features of it are it has a lanyard loop. It has a Celsius thermometer. It has a compass and it has the little ball bearing uh, whistle. Two things about this one I don't like. Uh, I'm used to Fahrenheit so having Celsius is a little tough and the compass it's pointing north so there's only one thing I don't like about this one the second one let me do this one just to get this out of the way the second one I'm going to show you I have permanently attached to my EDC bag with a uh, blue piece of paracord that uh, I had to strip the core out of because the lanyard hole is too small to accept paracord. This one has the, this is a Coglins. This is a, you can get this at Walmart uh, under four bucks I think it was. This has the whistle. It has a compass. It has a Fahrenheit and Celsius bar thermometer and it has a magnifying glass that you have to have something small to get it going so it can come out. I like this one. This is uh, the compass is accurate and it's pointing straight north. This Coglins is a good one. I, I, I prefer this one. The third one is this orange one and it doesn't have a name on it. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. I can't remember what the name of it was but it's also a good one. This is more of a fire starting uh, setup. It has the ball bearing whistle it has a very small ferrule rod on the side of it and the compass is very good. It's liquid filled, glows in the dark, it has uh, degrees on it and this is probably the best compass out of all of them. It has a lanyard loop, comes with some orange string. It has a watertight compartment with an o-ring in the cap is a mirror. Where is it? There it is. And it's tiny, but it could work for signaling. And it has the compartment for matches, which I have uh, stormproof matches in here. I'm sorry, waterproof matches. These are not stormproof. I think the stormproof matches are too long to actually fit into this one. But this is a good one if you are looking for a whistle with uh, fire starting capabilities. This one is actually going to go on my survival bag. 
And the final one is one I got off of Amazon. This doesn't have the ball bearing whistle. Uh, it's just that the wind blows through it. It's supposed to have a flashlight on the end, but it came with dead batteries, but it's supposed to have a little LED flashlight. It has a compass that is totally pointing west instead of north. Let me give it another shot. Problem is, you don't, I'll well, see now it's pointing east. I don't trust the compass on it at all. On the other side, it has a thermometer that is in Celsius also. Again, I'm used to Fahrenheit. This might be great for the Canadian brothers we have and sisters. The cool features is that it, you twist it and it comes apart and it has a little compartment. Uh, I can just get the tip of my pinky in it as far as depth. But it has another part that you unscrew and there is a magnifying glass which could be used for starting fires. And it has a mirror. Let's see if we can do it here. And I can't get it to uh, do anything. It's there just barely. But for some reason, it's not nearly as good as the orange one. This has the potential to be in a very good one. The problem is, the compass is terrible. The flashlight didn't work. And the storage compartment is basically too small. You could probably get a cotton ball or two down in there, but that's just about it. And it has a lanyard loop going through it also. So there's a look, and where's the other one? It's on my bag. But there's a look at four survival whistles with different combinations of uh, uh, features, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, post a comment below, let me know what you think. And if you're not a subscriber, head back to the channel, check out the videos that I put out, and if you like them, click the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. This is Lazy Man Prepper, out. Boom. How easy was that? We're all about getting back or uh, surviving different situations. There's Cody's, and there's mine. Lazy Man Prepper. Out.